Hello fans, welcome to JK Fidelity Tech. I want to I want us to do something today and uh, I want us to do uh, one practical today. Um what is the practical? It's just fixing the port the this port problem, one of the port problem I showed in one of the previous videos. So so let's get to it. So look at the problem I want to fix right now. Look at it. When you plug in your power, your your cable you see you see this light flashing here you see the light flashing here are you seeing the light the light is flashing Sorry. this is an amber light flashing this poe poe line this amber light flashing instead of it to show light at the back of this place it's not showing light some of them are working some ports are working some are not working you can see this one is working so how do we fix this issue the other day I showed you the IC that is in charge of the problem look at the IC here it's IC you're seeing here is the IC in charge of the problem is IC you're seeing now so we're going to change the IC I'm going to show you the IC right now we're going to change it right now let me remove the power on this side okay then you find your flask driver you remove this one this is the light channel you remove it So look at the IC here. You can see the IC at the back here. You can see the IC. Look at the. It is this first line. I, uh, there's a, one of my previous videos. I showed you uh, how to how to calculate the IC one after the other. If maybe you have you are, you are not uh, even sure of what I'm doing right now, you can go on one of my previous. I explain how if you want to know which one is the problem, then how to no it is this one to remove that this one is the one that has problem so today i'm doing different thing not today that i want to change the ic that is giving this problem let me on my mm. So this is the IC. So look at the IC in charge of the problem here you can see the IC here let me focus sorry look at the IC here you see the IC okay so we're going to replace it with another one I have some IC inside of this place, you see, I have some spare IC that is good, I want to replace it with it. Okay. 
Okay, let me put it back. Let me let me have uh, so let me put back the the power supply I removed. I've uh, I've changed this chip. That is causing the problem. I've changed the chip already. So what's the next thing to do is to touch it if it's still hot, you have to wait for a while. So to know if it is uh, still that hot, if it's not hot, if it's cool, then what you do is just uh, plug in the power again. The switch is now on. It's now booting. Look at the switch. So we wait for the switch to boot. So the switch is now ready. So the switch is now ready. <laughs> so uh, so let's check our our switch again. The so as he has booted. So let's check the the port. Uh, let's check the port. This is the one that has problem before you can see the light is coming at the back you can see there's no sign again nothing here again you can see no blinking no amber blinking here again so anytime you see this kind of issue just know that it is uh, that chip that I showed you so that is it so thank you see you on the next video